And here's another example of how we can use integration by parts to integrate something that hmm, otherwise may be very difficult to integrate. All right, again, the rule is that if you can somehow visualize this to be u times dv, you have to figure out what the u is and what the dv is, then you can simply integrate it like that, and hopefully your v du will be much easier to integrate than what you have over here. So, what should u be? Well, we want it to be something that's easily differentiated, and so x e to the x is an easy differential, so let u equal the numerator x e to the x, which means that 1 over this times dx is your dv. So then dv would equal 1 over x plus 1 to the second power dx. All right, assuming that this is correct, and again, sometimes you choose something and it doesn't work out, you have to try something else, another combination. Let's assume that this will work. What is your du? And so your du is equal to, well, this is a product, so we take the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first times dx. Because actually this is du dx and we put the dx over there, so we have the differential. And now we have to take the integral of dv, and here we probably want to rearrange that a little bit. So uh, we can say that dv is equal to the quantity x plus 1 to the negative 2 power dx. And that's easily integrated because all we have to do is add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. So we can say that v is equal to x plus 1 to the negative 1 power divided by negative 1, of course, plus constant of integration, but we'll leave that till the very end. We don't have to do that now. And so rewriting this, we can say, well, this is equal to minus 1 over x plus 1. So now we have our v, we have our du, we're ready to go ahead and try to do our substitution here in that form of for integration by parts. All right, so this now is equal to u times v, our u is x e to the x. And we multiply that times v, and our v is minus 1 over x plus 1 minus the integral of, and let's hope we end up with something we can actually integrate. So we need a v, and our v is minus 1 over x plus 1, times du, and our du is this right here, so that would be the quantity x times e to the x plus e to the x times dx. Okay, now that we have that substituted into our formula here, we have to look and see what we can do next. And notice that this portion right here, I can actually factor out an e to the x, and then I'll be left with an x plus 1 in the numerator, and have an x plus 1 in the denominator, and I think I have the solution here. All right, let's try this. So we have uh, x e to the x times negative 1 over x plus 1. And then the minus times the minus becomes a plus. The integral of uh, 1 over x plus 1 times when I factor out an e to the x, and I get that, and I'm left with an x plus 1 times dx. And notice that this x plus 1 will cancel out with this x plus 1, and now we have an e to the x left there. So this becomes x e to the x times minus 1 over x plus 1 plus the integral of e to the x dx. And that's, of course, the easiest integral in the world to integrate because the integral of that simply is you guessed it, e to the x, so this is equal to x e to the x times minus 1 over x plus 1 plus e to the x, and then, of course, plus a constant of integration. And then for good measure, uh, we have a term over here, we have a term over here, we can factor out an e to the x, we can multiply this times that, and we can rearrange it, so this can be written as e to the x times the 1 from this uh, factor right there, and then when we have e to the x removed, we have minus x over x plus 1 plus a constant of integration. Now, of course, we could simplify that problem a little bit more by using the common denominator, so this could probably be written as e to the x times x plus 1 minus x over the common denominator of x plus 1 plus c. Notice that if I write this as x plus 1 over x plus 1, I have a common denominator of x plus 1, and then the x plus 1 here, I can now subtract the minus x. So finally, this can be written as e to the x times 1 over x plus 1 plus a constant of integration, 
and that would then be the simplest form of that particular integral. So amazingly enough, a lot of things are, you can integrate a lot of these things if you use the integration by parts method. Okay, on to the next example.